waiting for the rest to join the webcast session in which we will be talking specifically about automated trading strategies in the cryptocurrency world and how did the power of artificial intelligence enabled us to achieve the highest frequency trading capacity to extract profits consistently from the market regardless of the trend direction so uh, please type one in the chat box if you can hear my voice and that you see the picture yeah okay so let's begin uh, for those of you who don't know me my name is Dmitry I am the portfolio manager trader and together with Beatscap we are working on the development of automated trading to enable you to profit on every market regardless of the trend so today's agenda will be the first one is that we will cover three optimal configurations to launch bots. So I will provide you with some useful tips and tricks which you can start using already now to initiate efficient bots. Secondly, we will be talking about five exit strategies that we've developed at Tikiron. So that's the break-even price, the stop loss, take profit, and some other features and finally trade ideas that you can generate from backtesting and three more topics is of course key metrics for you to monitor so we have the investment change the bought profit and some other key metrics at your disposal that you can take into account to observe your trading dynamic Trading up feature, that's the instrument for boosting your trading performance and to maximize your returns on the rising market so that the algorithm follows the trend accordingly. And finally, very important topic is risk management in automation. So let's begin. The power of artificial intelligence. It has enabled to optimize a proper configuration which all of you can use it's very simple straightforward easy to understand and it's called the grid mechanism so the idea of this mechanism is that the algorithm plots sell orders so and as you can see here on the chart let me use the uh, laser pointer for this case so you see the system plots all of the cell limit orders and that's represented by these red lines so in order to plot all of the cell limit orders there must be enough of the base currency in this case that's cardano on your balance and in order to buy in case if the market is going to fall in order to buy the base currency you need the quote currency so the system plots buy limit orders in the order book of the exchange that you've selected and you need some portion of the quote currency in this case to purchase the base currency so the idea is pretty simple it buys low and sells high and takes this marginal difference from the market as the profit so <clears throat> once again we take the highest sell price which is in other words the upper limit price of the trading range and the lowest buy price which is in this case the lower limit price and these lines they uh, define the trading range of your bot configuration so within this trading range you have other orders sell orders buy orders also known as grid levels and this is where the magic actually happens so within this trading range as long as the price stays within it the board will trade on your behalf 
So in this simple example, we have price reaching our first sell limit order. And as you can see, the algorithm automatically sells the base currency at the price of 11,500. And then it takes portion of this cash out to plot a new buy limit order right below the price so that later if the price falls back a bit it will buy the base currency from the market with the lowest price and by that it ensures that later when the price will move higher it will sell it eventually so in this example the uh, calculation is pretty straightforward you see that in this case we've taken from the market 11,500 as a result of the sell order then we take 11,250 to initiate a new buy order so the difference in this case is exactly what stands for the bought profit so that's the profit which goes directly to your balance and you can use this to launch other bots you can use this profit to mm, to manually trade on the market or you can simply withdraw this money to spend on other needs and yes with the power of artificial intelligence high frequency execution of trades is now fully automatically possible so in this example we have land trading to Bitcoin and you see that it has managed to make 11 uh, sorry 18,500 trades within the period of 83 days so that's if we divide the total amount of trades executed by the board by the time elapsed which is 83 days we will get the exact number of 220 trades per day another example that's icon trading to Bitcoin in this case we have 153 trades and yeah the process is pretty much never lasting as far as you have a proper configuration features like the trailing up and so on so regarding the trailing up how to enable the bot to follow the market appreciation rising market we will discuss in 15 minutes so stay with me we will cover all of the major instruments which will allow you already today to launch your first bot to generate profits from the market Consistent profit inflow, that's another feature and that's basically because of the idea of the logic of the algorithm which buys once again low and sells high. So it will constantly extract these profits from the market. These profits can be tiny, they can be big, that depends on your configuration and the space between buy limit and sell limit orders in any case regardless of whether your configuration has a narrow setup or a wide setup this algorithm will consistently generate profits and added up together they make up a decent return in any case so all of the profits generated by the bot are in the quote currency so if you see, let's say, ERD trading to USDT, then in this case, the bot profit generated is going to be in USDT. If something is trading to Bitcoin, then the profit will be in BTC in this case, in the bot profit. And if it's something trading to BNB, then in this case, the profit in the quote currency is BNB. And once again, regardless of the market direction, either the market is falling or moving sideways or it is a rising market the bot will constantly find these opportunities from the market to buy low and sell high to extract this marginal profit basically the volatility in this case has become our friend and the the, the bigger is volatility the more opportunities for the bot we provide to generate profits from the market most importantly, all of these strategies can be backtested. So you decided to choose a certain configuration and you can easily backtest the strategy 
based on the amount of grid levels that you've plotted and some other metrics. So you see that's the backtest result of basic attention token trading to USDT from the period of 21st of May until the 20th of June. And you see that it has managed to make, if you would, of course, launch the bot back at that time for this period of exactly 30 days, the bot would have generated 15% in the quote currency in this case. So absolutely every cryptocurrency which is enabled in, in the chosen exchange where you have your account, you can backtest any cryptocurrency pair. And the profit once again is going to be in the quote currency. So before actually risking your real capital, you can backtest strategies to see what would have been the performance back at some point of time if you would have launched the bot. So that is kind of a benchmark for you to consider to, to, to plot um, expectations. So it doesn't mean that if 30 days ago the result was 11%, it doesn't mean that in the next month it's going to be exactly the same. No, it's just the uh, expectations which you can build on these projections based on the backtest results. So at least using backtesting you can find those optimal cryptocurrencies that according to volatility, risk to return ratio and the bot profit comply with your trading strategies. And more about the backtesting we will talk about in 30 minutes. So once again, stay with me. And now is the time to launch our first bot in the advanced mode. So we move to the main page. So once you click, first of all, you have to log in and then you see this bot section. So you click on bot section. And the first thing that um, takes your attention is the chart and you see that already here you have a toolbar so you can apply some technical analysis so you can have the trend line the horizontal line to find those support and resistance levels so you can actually conduct a thorough uh, technical analysis while trading at beads gap so we have it here fully implemented and optimized. So before launching any bot, you can conduct your thorough research to find those optimal entry and exit points. So yeah, here it is, the chart. You can change the time frame to 12 hours. So that's fully up to you. And on the left side below, you see I have some active bots already trading. And that's my actually demo account. You see, demo mode is on. So that means that right now I'm demonstrating you the performance of my uh, demo strategies. So it basically mimics the real market, but the difference is that you have virtual money to trade with. And that's a really cool feature that we've developed at BigitScap is that Using virtual account, which is an absolutely risk-free trading mode, you can discover and develop your own trading strategies before risking any real capital. So if you are not uh, yet confident in the configurations that you are implementing, then you can try them out, you can test, you can experiment, in the demo mode before actually launching bots with your real money. So on the right side you see I have the, uh, the, the, the panel where the, the magic actually happens. So here you have a simple mode to quickly configure your bots but we will stick to the advanced mode as it has all of the instruments we will be talking about today. So that's the take profit, stop loss and the trailing up instrument. And most importantly, the difference between the advanced and the simple mode is that in the advanced you have a, you have a detailed 
approximation of how your investment will be allocated. So you see, with the investment of 0.07 bitcoins in band trading to bitcoin cryptocurrency pair, you see that's exactly the split of 60 band, in this case that's the base currency required for the bot, and 0.02 bitcoins required as a quote currency to initiate the bot. So the first panel here is the strategy section and we have the S bot and the classic bot. So the S bot is our brand new bot uh, comparing with the classic bot and it was originated from the classic bot and the primary difference is that the S bot uh, provides traders with the highest uh, frequency algorithm and the 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 the, the, the major difference is that in a way they uh, distribute your investments. So when it comes to the uh, S-Bot, and let me just show you the example in the presentation. So the, uh, the classic bot, it distributes your investments equally. So it buys the same amount of the uh, base currency and it also sells the same amount of the base currency with each grid level. And you see if we multiply the amount by the price, and that's once again that's the classic bot configuration, you will find out that the investment allocation per each grid level is different. So that's not the equal investment allocation in terms of the investment sum but it is equal in terms of the parity which you get in the amount of the base currency purchased or sold. Whereas when it comes to the s bot, you will find out that the amount per each grid level varies and by that we ensure that the investment allocation per each grid level is exactly the same. And to find out what actually makes better the S bot or the classic bot configuration. There is no golden rule and it turns out that in, in some cases the classic bot is gonna provide you with slightly uh, different uh, slightly different dynamic in terms of the profit so it can be less it can be more depending on the cryptocurrency that you've selected its volatility market timing so it's, it's, it's fully up to traders to find their best strategy depending on the time management and the techniques that you apply when uh, entering and exiting the market. So that's basically the key difference is the, is the way investments are being allocated. So when you see here there is an exchange which you can select and in the demo mode you have a full bunch of cryptocurrencies with also virtual money to trade with. So let's say if you are trading on Kraken, then you can select the Kraken. And here it is. So you can select the cryptocurrency pair trading at Kraken, or you can switch back to the Binance. And in this uh, webcast, we will stick to the Binance as it basically the, the, the most popular cryptocurrency exchange with the highest liquidity and interesting cryptocurrencies trading. So yeah, and the third panel section in this case, that's the, as I already mentioned, the cryptocurrency which you can choose. But if you don't know which cryptocurrency pair to trade, then if you scroll down, you will find out a list of recommended strategies based on monthly backtest results. So these are cryptocurrencies of the Binance exchange that throughout the period of the last 30 days have proven to be uh, the best in terms of profit, what profit generated. So you see that it turns out that for the period of 30 days UFI trading to USDT as well as to Bitcoin are in the list of the top cryptocurrencies. So at least you get this 
visualization of some cryptocurrencies that have proven for the last month or you can actually backtest them by the weekly basis and you will find out that based on the weekly dynamic the first place is to Ethereum down to USDT the second place is Turgy so this is just based on the backtest results of the bot profit so at least you can consider these cryptocurrencies to trade just based on the these decent returns provided during the last month so let's say I'm interested in UFI trading to USDT in this case and you will find out that on the chart you have already you, you have this uh, automated configuration which you can actually adjust in any way you want so you can drag the lower limit price to make your buy zone narrow and you can also drag the upper limit price below so that your trading range is now defined by this price that's 40,000 and the lowest price is 16,000 in this case or you can actually manually change it over here so let's say I want my lower limit price to be 18 thousand and my upper price let's say 35,000 so that's how you can easily change the trading range but I'd rather stick to the option of manually dragging the line because it really takes less time and especially if the market is currently undergoing extreme price swings then and, and you don't want to spend time a lot of time on uh, making this configuration then dragging the line is going to be your your best option just yeah as easy as that <clears throat> so once we've defined the trading range and regarding the varieties of the trading range where you can have a narrow buy zone sorry narrow sell zone and a wider buy zone you can have this wider sell zone and the narrow buy zone these configurations they can vary depending on current market uh, formations and conditions and in this webcast I will provide you with three uh, optimal configurations um, in the sideways and as well as on the rising market which you can apply to to achieve better results but just for the sake of the example, let's stick to this configuration. Let's say our trading range is defined by this upper and lower limit prices. Now is the time to define the grid quantity. So the interesting thing here is that the more of the grid levels you have, the narrow is your grid spacing. So you see I have the maximum of 180 grid levels and I can also change it, let's say to 50. So notice that my grid spacing has now been reduced, sorry, increased to 1.57%. So the lesser grid levels I assign to the board, the wider my grid spacing becomes. And the grid spacing here stands for the distance between the grid levels. And now comes the question, should I stick to this configuration where I have 180 or 150? grid levels or I should stick to 30 and 50 well first of all the more grid levels you assign the more investment is required because each grid level requires a minimum order size and in Binance for the vast majority of top cryptocurrencies in the, in the list of top 20 by liquidity the minimum order size is 10 USDT so that means that for this configuration uh, yeah, so for each grid level 10 USDT is required. So yeah, 100 and 180 apply multiply by 10 USDT then you will get 1,800 which is the minimum and It can be the case that you don't have this amount or you don't want to allocate that uh, investment sum then your option is going to be 30 grid levels for instance because it will require less of the investment and of course <clears throat> the grid spacing will be wider. So when, when you have this wide spacing, that means your, that your um, marginal profit is potentially higher 
than the profit that you would have generated if you had 150 grid levels. So you see, this space is 0.5%, whereas with 30 grid levels, that's 267 And by that, having less grid levels, you basically provide more space for the bot to generate this marginal profit. But the issue here is, is that with a wider grid spacing, there are less uh, it, it less probably there are less chances that the price will hit all of the uh, grid levels that you assigned to the bot because the volatility can be not enough to trigger all of the orders it can be that the price will move let's say up to this level only and then revert back so these levels they would just get stuck over here whereas when you have a narrow grid spacing so that means that you have more levels plotted and tightly allocated to each other so that means that the vast majority of these grid levels they will most likely be triggered by the price <clears throat> so the question here is are you willing to risk uh, that the market will not trigger all of your grid levels but by that you take you get sorry you get the uh, bigger marginal profit or you take lesser marginal profit but you provide the bot with more opportunities to to trigger all of the limit orders so that's the case and depending on the capital available at your disposal so but for this example let's say i want to stick to this 50 grid levels configuration and let's find out what is my balance so it turns out that my usdt balance is now 900 87 so let's launch it let's say with 500 so what it is telling me now is that in order to launch this trading setup with 50 grid levels uh, i need to have at least 1125 usdt but as far as i don't have this amount what i can do is to click on the adjust grid quantity and by that i ensure that still 500 usdt will be allocated but in this case the system adjusts the grid quantity to 21 so instead of 50 as i wanted it is now 21 so with this trading configuration i can now successfully launch the bot and here comes the approximation and you will find out that here is the exact amount of the base currency required to be allocated in all of these sell orders as well as the base currency to be allocated in all of these buy limit orders and you must make sure that you have this amount of the base currency but if you don't have it and when you click on start the bot the system will automatically notify you to buy this amount and it can actually buy it automatically with the market buy order and notice that the value here is a bit higher than the value over here and that's because of the uh, fees that we have to pay each time we sell something and buy something to the exchange so that's why the fees are already priced in so that's why we are buying a bit more just to pay our fees for all of the grid levels so i click on yes buy and what you will find out is that the system fills the market by order and now my trade configuration is fully active so here you see the investment amount the trading range defined by the higher price and low price so which you see exactly 45,000 and 19,000 the grid quantity that i've selected <coughs> as well as the time elapsed current investment change and the bot profit more information i can find when I click on the view button and here you can see the exact amount of the base currency allocated the quote currency allocated as well as open orders so you can see at which price the algorithm will buy the base currency and at which price it will sell the base currency so fully transparent full integrity here and 
with this matrix, you can visualize your trading dynamic and as well as you can extract the data in CSV so that you can conduct some other calculations like calculating the Sartina ratio, the Sharp ratio and some other metrics if you are an experienced portfolio manager or trader. So all the data is here for you as well as the you see the fee paid for each trade. So everything is absolutely here. So now let's continue with the presentation and now is the time to cover the uh, two major metrics that we have at BeatsGap and that's the investment change and the bot profit. So it is still sorry, um, kind of confusing for some traders what actually defines the investment change and what makes it different from the bot profit as well as what unites these two concepts. So what you have to grasp is that uh, the investment change is the, is the major metric you are looking at. Whereas the bot profit is always going to be a positive number which is already priced in the investment change. So here is how. The investment change is the value change of the base currency which is allocated to the trading strategy. In this case the base currency land is going to be affected by the value change as the land is going to rise and fall and as soon as you have some lands in your trading uh, algorithm then you will be affected by the value change. So that's why investment change is first of all affected by the value change and finally it is affected by the bought profit generated in the quote currency. <clears throat> so and to to, to, to grasp your investment dynamic, all you have to do is basically multiply your investment value, that's the initial value allocated to the board, and multiply it by the investment change. So here in this example I have land trading to Bitcoin, that's with the investment of 0 0.11 Bitcoins, and you see investment change is 54%. So if I multiply it by this percentage change, I will get my current investment value. And of course the difference between the current investment value and the initial value is exactly my bot profit generated. So uh, you see I have some active trades here and you will find that I have some trades with a negative investment change with a positive investment change. So you see that the bought profit is already priced in the investment change. So it can be sometimes that the investment change is going to be higher when the bought profit because the value change of the base currency has appreciated or it can be that the bought profit is like over here is positive but the investment change is negative and that's because the value of the base currency has significantly uh, depreciated which affected the whole investment and it turns out that investment change is regardless of the positive bot profit is in the negative zone. So let's move on and now is the time to discuss what are the optimal scenarios market formations to launch automated bots and we will start with the rising market so here's the formation which is known as the rising channel and according to this formation the idea is that the price bounces off the support level and reverts from the resistance level. So it's kind of trading within the trading channel which is rising channel. So we are actually looking for such formations because exploiting them we can enter with optimal timing and with an optimal price. So here's the example and you will see that you see that the price is now 
having its second attempt of bouncing off the support level and you see it has managed successfully to bounce off it and sort of confirmation is that there are two strong bullish candles formed from this support line so this kind of formation and that in the fact that the price has eventually bounced off the support level is well, well actually it fulfills me with more confidence to enter the market and with this trading configuration which is represented by this trading range can be an optimal uh, strategy to follow so you see that as i am following the rising channel then of course i expect that the price will eventually move to the resistance line so here as soon as it climbs back to the resistance line i expect volatility over here so by that i want to ensure that my bot is enabled and optimized to capture this uh, upside momentum and that is why my uh, sell zone is wider when the buy zone and i still have this buy zone narrow configuration just in case if even though the price has successfully bounced off the support line just for the case it will once again try to breach the support line and then revert back and will move higher to test the resistance line so that's just in case that from that point it will still fall a bit and then go higher and you see the um, stop loss which is the um, basic risk management principle in case if the uh, sorry if the market formation did not sustain and it will eventually instead of bouncing off the support line breaches the support line we have here the stop loss to uh, minimize our losses so below that level we will not be affected if the strategy does not sustain and eventually you see that the price moved higher it tested the resistance then reverted and again tested so following these patterns the market formations makes sense because they are based on the uh, traders psychology so that is why looking for such pattern formation really makes sense and statistically have proven to be quite successful so another example you see here that's the BNB trading to USDT what I found out is that the uh, the vast majority of top 20 cryptocurrencies by liquidity they actually respect the support and resistance lines and here is a perfect visualization of a rising BNB market and each time it triggers it approaches the support line it bounces off it and you see the amount of green arrows they represent how many times the BNB has managed to successfully bounce off this support level so trading with support and resistance is basically what you should always consider in your technical analysis at least and here's another optimal scenario to launch the bot is when you have this sideways formation and once again here's the idea is that it bounces off the support line and reverts from the resistance line so trading configuration optimal for this pattern formation is exactly this one and that's what I call a 50-50 split, a 50-50% parity, where if you enter somewhere in the middle, then you still expect the price will probably test the support, or from that level it can continue rising and test the resistance. So you don't know for sure, that's why 50-50 split makes sense. And what you're actually looking for is for these sideways formations on a rising trend so a trend is always your friend and you want to follow a trend and when you find such 
patterns on a rising market. So when you find the sideways channel on a rising market in the long term, the price will most likely, just based on these statistics, it will breach the resistance line and then you will be uh, positively affected by the rising market eventually. So you see here, sideways market, eventually it breaches the support, sorry, the resistance line and goes higher. And same applies to this scenario over here. Sideways market and then eventually it breaches the resistance line so the price moves higher and that's what you are actually looking for. In order to achieve this profit maximization you want to see not only the bot profit generated but you want to see the value of your base currency to appreciate so that you get this double effect in this case. So once again we are looking for first of all a trend configuration sorry trend confirmation that it is a strong rising market and on a rising market you are looking for those sideways formations to enter at optimal price and timing to then later participate in the market rally continuation. So just for you to once again to understand the bot will always buy low and sell high regardless of the market trend. And here's the example of BNB trading to Ethereum. That's the rising market. And on the rising market, it will find those opportunities to buy low and sell high. But most importantly, the BNB value is here, in this case, also positively affected. And that's what I already mentioned, is what I call the profit maximization. So that's what we call at Bitscap as an active investment change where you are not only affected by the bot profit which once again bot profit will be consistent even on the sideways on the rising and even on the falling market it will generate profits for you but what you are looking for is actually for the rising market because you are also want to be affected by the positive value change yeah so on the sideways market, the idea is to earn during the stagnation. So, meanwhile, the rest traders that are not using automated trading, they just having a neutral return. So, the sideways market is once again known as the period of stagnation. So, it's kind of the period when you are neither experiencing a investment increase neither the decrease because the price is kind of fluctuates somewhere in between but with automation you can actually boost your results significantly and here's the exact example so you see that's the sideways market formation for bitcoin cash trading to usdt and you see that where you have this hodl title and the arrow pointing to this price and point of time so that's the point where imagine you just buy bitcoin cash so that it will just lay in your portfolio so the price starts moving rising falling and eventually up to current price you would be up by five percent but with automation you would be up by 14 percent and that's because you would not only enter the market at the same point of time and price where a, an ordinary trader whom we call hodlers would enter the market, you are also affected by the bot profit generated on each of this market swing. So each time the market was moving lower, higher, establishing new higher highs, new lower lows, the bot was generating profits on your behalf in the quote currency and that is why this bot profit is priced in the investment change and that is why this investment change is significantly bigger comparing with a simple hodl strategy so you see the difference is 14 percent comparing with the five percent of an ordinary hodl strategy so that's how automation significantly outstrips outperforms simple hodl strategy on a sideways 
market formation like the one we are having here. What are the other instruments to boost and secure your profits? So at BizGap we have this trailing up instrument which ensures that the algorithm follows the rising market. So when you have this trailing up instrument on and by on I mean that you have this trailing up instrument button fully switched on and that means that by that you enable the bot to follow the market rise and once again the trading range is defined by the upper limit and lower limit prices so when the price imagine moves higher and establishes a new higher high what will happen ne next is that the trading range will move accordingly so trailing up instrument enables the trading range to follow the price and as the price established a new higher high the trading range has successfully followed the price appreciation and imagine again the price then moves higher establishes a new higher high and the algorithm will keep following the rising market but what happens if the market will fall from that point and what will happen is that the trading configuration is gonna stay where you have this previous higher high and it will not follow the depreciation so the trailing up that's why it's called trailing up because it only follows the market up and if you see that the price eventually breaches the lower limit price in this area there won't be any trade activity but if the price then comes back within the trading range this is where the bot will continue trading so once again as far as the price stays within the trading range the bot will keep trading it will keep buying low and selling high extracting these profits from the market for you and if the price then again establishes a new higher high then eventually the trading up feature will enable the bot to uh, adjust the trading range accordingly so initially you remember we had our trading range defined by this market formation over here and now our trading range is significantly higher and that's because of the trading up instrument here's the example that's ng trading to bitcoin that's my actual trade and you see that for this configuration i had my trailing up instrument on so my trading range was initially defined by this higher high represented by this yellow line and lower low price represented by this lower uh, yellow line so as soon as the price breached the upper limit price my bot was triggered to follow the market rally and that is why you see all of these circles they represent green circles they represent buy orders executed by the bot and green uh, sorry red circles they represent sell orders accordingly so now my trading range is up here so if i wouldn't have my training up instrument on then i would just get stuck within this range and my investment return would be uh, significantly lower comparing with the one i'm having here so with a training up feature on i make sure that my board keeps generating profits on my behalf on the rising market so i can be somewhere away from the monitor i can be spending my time doing some other things in real life while the bot is going to trade on my behalf fully unbiased automatically it doesn't need any rest it just keeps following the plan and my trading configuration and that's the magical power of automation is that all you have to do is just spend five minutes 
to configure the board and then just take this joyful experience of consistent profit inflow. And here's the example of Yota trading to USDT, but in this case I don't have my trailing up instrument on and you see that the price eventually breached the upper price and I got stuck with all of my trading configuration within my initial trading range because I didn't have my trailing up instrument on. So that means that I wasn't able to uh, participate in this continued market rally. So no trades in this area as you can clearly see and that's why my potential profit would be higher if I would have switched my training up instrument on. But if you forgot to uh, configure your trailing up instrument at the time of launching the bot then you still have this option to switch it on when you click on view of any active bot. So let's choose the one that we've launched 22 minutes ago. If you click on view, here you see that we have the take profit, stop loss and trading up and you can enable this trading up instrument later. And then you save the changes and that means that in this case my UFI trading to USDT configuration will follow the market rally if the price breaches the upper limit over here and goes higher. So my trading configuration will follow the market rally in this case. So that's something for you to understand. Other features, they include a built-in cost averaging effect, which means that on the falling market, you will find that automation significantly minimizes your losses. Because we can not be always correct about predicting the market direction. It can be that we expect the market rally, but the opposite happens. The market starts falling drastically. And here's the example with a HODL strategy where you just would simply buy quantum at that point over here. So if you would buy quantum at that point and you would wait until current price, you would be down by 6.88%. So that's the simple HODL strategy. It would bring you minus 6.88%. And if you would use uh, automation in this case, then the bot profit generated on this falling market would have significantly offset the negative value change of the quantum depreciating. So instead of having minus 6.88%, you are only having minus 3% with automation. So you see, that's a perfect example of how automation minimizes your losses on a falling market, comparing with a simple straightforward ordinary strategy known as HODL. And finally, what are the exit strategies? At BitsGap we have five major exit strategies which you can find over here. So, first of all, in the active bot panel you have this button known as close and if you click on it you will find that you have some options to exit the market. The first one is to cancel all of the open orders. So if you want to stop the algorithm then that's your option. But in this case the uh, base currency which is left in the uh, strategy will go to your balance. So that means that you will be still affected by the value change of the base currency. In this case, that's UFI. But if you select second option, second exit strategy, that's a sell order at the market price. And with this option, you basically make sure that the algorithm fully 
sells the uh, base currency. So it will get rid of the base currency, which is currently in open orders, at the market price. So if you choose this option, that's going to be a 100% exit from the market and none of the base currency will go to your balance. And the third option is known as a break-even. And in this presentation, let me demonstrate you with the example that's Cardano trading to USDT. And you see that my investment change is currently in the negative zone, minus 0.92%. So what if I don't want to close my bot with this negative investment change? My option can be that I can exit the market with a 0% of the investment change. But in order to get this zero investment change, I need to make sure that the algorithm sells all of the base currency at an optimal price at which my investment change is going to be 0%. And it actually calculates this price known as break-even price. So if you see that in this example, in order to exit the market with a 0% of the investment change, I should wait for the price to reach 0.1275 USDT, which is exactly over here. And the current price, as you can see, it's now over here. So in order to exit with the 0% of the investment change, the price must reach this break-even price. And at this price, it will just sell all of the base currency and taking into account the bot profit, my investment change will be exactly 0%. But that's not always a um, good option to choose if you expect that the, the, the market will not reach this. So if you don't see any potential of the market bouncing back to this level, then maybe that's not an option for you to consider. So it can be that the price will not trigger this break-even price and it will eventually move even lower and that means that you will have a bigger loss in this case. But if you expect that the price will reach this break-even point due to your technical analysis and fundamental analysis then it can be an option for you. Another feature is stop loss is an ordinary risk management instrument it just sells all of the base currency at the predefined price. And you see that for this Cardano trading to USDT configuration, I have enabled the stop loss at the price of 0.10 USDT, which is exactly over here. So if the price continues its fall then as soon as it reaches the stop loss the algorithm will sell all of the base currency at that price so you should stick to this stop loss instrument if you don't want to uh, have an unlimited risk and you want to have a full control over your investment and potential loss then the stop loss which you can always switch on here or at the time of your initial configuration you can already predefine the stop loss so notice that the stop loss can only be set below the trading range so it can be let's say 17,000 for UV but as of now it won't be able to be plotted within the trading range so only below the trading range and by this stop loss instrument my loss is limited down to this level only all right so if the price starts falling and it breaches the stop loss then i won't be affected by the negative value change in this zone anymore because i just exited the market at that point already Sources of trade ideas. 
So now we've learned what are the instruments to boost our trading performance, what are the optimal strategies and market formations, as well as what are the optimal market, sorry, um, bot configurations to launch our bots. It is now the time to find out what are the sources of trade ideas that we've developed here at Beatscap. The first one is recommended strategies, the one that I already explained, and the second one is actually back testing. So we have this instrument, and based on this instrument, you can, as I already explained, back test any configuration on any cryptocurrency pair. So let's say I'm interested in Let's say I'm interested in Ethereum trading to BNB. Oh, sorry, Bitcoin. Why not? And with a trading configuration of only grid levels, as I click on show backtesting results, I will find out exactly what would have been the return for this period of 30 days. So if you, I would have launched the bot back at 11th of August and would stick to this active strategy until today then my bot profit would be plus 12% I can actually change the date range and let's say I want to find out what would have been the return from the 18th of August until the 25th of August for this and you will find that was actually a falling market period would be only 0.5% so you can use this tool to compare results of one cryptocurrency with another. So let's find out what would have been the return for this same period of time from the 18th of August until the 25th of August for another pair. So let's say um, ADA trading to Bitcoin. And now let's use as we used 50 grid levels show back testing the period of 18th until the 25th so you see that in this case the bot profit would have been pretty much the same all right but it can be the case that some cryptocurrencies they offer bigger returns or smaller returns so other metrics that you should also consider is the volatility so if you are a risk taker and you accept higher risk for a bigger return then you will most likely look for the cryptocurrencies that are extremely volatile and extreme volatility it brings more trade opportunities but at the same time there is a bigger risk because the downside pressure is also higher if the cryptocurrency pair has an is, is undergoing a severe volatility. So it can be that, let's say, BNB for the period of 30 days has only fallen by 20% from the highest price to the lowest, whereas other cryptocurrencies might have fallen by uh, 40% or 10%, all right? But the bot profit for these cryptocurrencies can also be different. So using backtesting, you can find those cryptocurrencies that are optimal and comply with your trading um, doctrine, with your trading paradigm of the way you appreciate the risk. And if you are a risk taker, what is your risk appetite? So if you are quite conservative when it comes to risk, then most likely you are looking for those cryptocurrencies that uh, only fall by maximum of 15% from the highest to the lowest price, generating a pretty much average, uh, not the highest, mid return of let's say 6% in the bot profit per month. All right. Maybe you are a risk taker and you can actually take this risk of some cryptocurrencies, like uh, maybe I should demonstrate this icon trading to USDT. You see drastically falling. And maybe you are ready to accept this risk in, in the return of the bigger bot profit in a long-term distance. So using backtesting, you can compare different cryptocurrencies with each other to find those optimal 
based on the risk and the bot profit. And finally, the uh, secure trading, which we enabled here at BeatsGap, is actually a built-in feature. And um, the idea is that we actually have this optimization of mitigating, um, in other words, avoiding this extreme pump and dump scenarios on the market. Because if you are trading a small liquidity cryptocurrency, and those cryptocurrencies that have a small liquidity, they are most likely affected by manipulations. So you will find this, you see, extreme pikes, so pumps and dumps. And you don't want your trading configuration to get stuck with buy limit orders at the highest price. Like you see on the left side, that's the example of GRS trading to Ethereum without optimization. Without optimization on this pump, your trading configuration would get stuck with this buy limit orders executed at the highest price. That's something you don't want to see because the idea is basically to buy low, not to buy at the highest price, but to buy low at the lowest price to later sell it at the highest possible according to your configuration. So in case of the pump scenario, it can be that without optimization, you would get stuck, all right? And that means that you would be severely affected by the continued drop down back to the normal trading zone. But at BS Gap, we actually been working for quite a long time on this optimization, and we actually have this optimization as of today. And it's not a hundred percent guaranteed, but by the vast majority of cases, we actually spot, and the algorithm spots this extreme pump and dump uh, scenarios, which it automatically avoids. So your trading configuration wouldn't follow this extreme pump. Instead, you would see this smooth, stable, secure return generation. All right. So that's something that is fully built in. You don't have to optimize it. So that's already within the system. And with this algorithm, we try to make in the vast majority of cases, you are not affected by these extreme pump and dumps. So yeah, these are basically all of the instruments that I wanted to discuss. Yeah, maybe the last one is the take profit, but that's the basically the simplest one to understand is that when you initiate the bot and you set the take profit, as soon as the investment change, and let's say that's 5%, as soon as the investment change reaches the 5%, then the bot will automatically close the bot. So it will lock in the profit. And let's say if it's 15%, then as soon as the investment change reaches 15%, and you see that right now I have icon trading to Bitcoin, which is almost close to 15%. As soon as it reaches 15%, the system will automatically lock in profit and it will automatically cancel out this trade. So that's the final exit strategy which you can stick to as well and let's see if you have some uh, interesting questions as always at the very end of the uh, webinar i'm looking for the most interesting questions to answer Yeah, some of you are asking about the investment allocation. So once again, the first step is to make sure that you have enough of the balance to initiate a trade. And let's say if you want to initiate the bot with a trading setup of, let's say, first of all, let me choose the currency that's, let's say, BTC trading to Bitcoin. And I want to launch it with... 0 0.10 and with 180 of the grid levels so it turns out that with this configuration i can actually launch this bot but it can be that 
it's not enough of the of the uh, base currency for me to launch sorry the quote currency to launch and and the system as we had with the UFI trading to use it you remember that initially we wanted to plot hundred grid levels but turned out that we can only launch it with the amount of 500 USDT only 21 grid levels so the system will always automatically notify you and help you to readjust your investment allocation or the grid quantity the lesser the grid quantity you assign the uh, fewer is investment required in this case whereas if you want to have more grid levels, make sure that you have more capital available to launch the bot. So when it makes sense to... Um, well, I, yeah, let me rephrase the question. When it is the case of not using a trading up instrument? Well, it can be the case if you are an experienced trader or a trader who is constantly, well, almost constantly uh, monitoring the market, so you'd rather manually close bots and relaunch them back as soon as you see a new optimal market formation. So let's say the market is moving like this and it breaches the support line. So let's say you've been monitoring the market at the point where it breached the support line. So at that point, you decided to actually close the trade, close your configuration to wait for a better moment to re-enter the market. So let's say the market moves then like this and bam, goes lower. So you see, by that you avoided this extreme dump and now you're looking for the formation to enter again so here's where you can actually again launch the board to see this market appreciation so you can actually manually each time you see uh, that the market is overbought like over here let me just okay it just for some reason <laughs> deleted all of my beautiful drawings but the idea is simple when you see that the market is extremely uh, over bought so it went higher 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 and you find out that at this point it is extremely over bought and it you expect that it, it will most likely fall instead of sticking to the automated algorithm you can actually to re-enter the market at the better lowest price so if you were right and then the price eventually fallen then you would enter somewhere over here expecting the price to continue its rally so that's when not using trading up instrument can be the case only when from my experience if you are constantly monitoring the market and you'd rather relaunch the bot each time the market reverts to a lower price to re-enter the market then that's that can be the case for you but if you don't have many time to spend on monitoring the market if you have your uh, daily job or some other things to do but you still want to generate profits from the market then having a trailing up instrument on enables you to follow the market rally each time it establishes a new higher high. Yes, you will be affected by this short-term falls, but at least you don't have to monitor the market 24-7 and you can do some other job while the bot is trading on your behalf. So that's the price that you pay. And in any case, you cannot be always correct whether the price will short fall or short rise. You just know on, on general that you see that the market is having a strong upside momentum the trend in general is a rising so you want to follow this rising market so you are indifferent completely to these short-term falls and that is why having a trailing up instrument on makes sense on a rising 
market in general. <clears throat> so that's it for today. I really appreciate your time and I hope you enjoyed this webcast and the information provided was sufficient enough and useful for you to to enable you to launch your bots. If you haven't yet traded in at BizGap, you've never tried automation, then I hope that this information that I provided you with is enough to launch. So if you are completely new at automation, then I strongly recommend you to start with a demo mode where you have virtual money to, to trade with. And you can use this virtual money to discover and develop your own trading configurations before risking any real money. So yeah, that's it for today. And if you have some questions left unanswered, then we have this support on the main page where you can ask your question. Or we have a Telegram community where you can also ask your question. Or next Thursday you can always, as I will be hosting as always next week, you can ask your question again if I forgot to answer on it. So thanks, thanks again once again and I wish you uh, profitable trading. Visit our YouTube channel where we've just uploaded a new video about trading configurations. That's a 10 minute video. So yeah, just if you want, if you have some time now, you can go and watch it or you can watch it later. So at BizGap, we are constantly working on, 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 on other features to enable you to uh, participate in the market rally, to uh, maximize your returns and to minimize your risks. So make sure that you are following us and we have all the information in the knowledge base in the YouTube so everything here is for you and I wish you once again a profitable trading so see you next Thursday bye